points UB1 through UB10. Okay. Um, UB1, okay, I'm going to just have you close your eyes for this now. Uh, it's, this is the inner canthus right here, and it's located medial and superior to it, kind of against the medial border of the eye socket or the orbit. So um, this is UB1 right here, okay, where I'm pressing with my finger. UB2 is going to be located directly superior to the inner canthus, so you can just slide up from the inner canthus right to um, about the medial um, you know, extremity of the eyebrow. Just try to feel for a, you know, a slight depression. Okay. This is where UB2 is, okay. and again, can be needled with the, you know, like transversely uh, with the brow or some people actually needle it upward this way, okay? This is UB2. Um, yeah, the names I should go over. So UB1 is Jingming, bright eyes. UB2 is Zanzhu, the um, gathered bamboo. Okay. Then um, for UB3, we just slide straight up, okay? Straight up above UB2. And then um, we go half a soon into the um, anterior hairline. So this right here is like her anterior hairline, okay, and this is one sun right here, so half a sun, okay. And um, sometimes it's good, you know, um, like right now I'm working from above, uh, and it, you know, it can be kind of tricky um, to do that, to do it that way, um, because, you know, you might be tracing a, what you think is a straight line, and you're going like, or something like that. So, um, ideally, you know, this would be a good point um, to try to find either from the front or if the patient was lying down, you know, you could be um, more like directly over them and you can see that you're going in a straight line. Okay, but UB3 is Mei Chang, the eye eyebrows pouring half a sun um, into the anterior hairline directly above UB2. Okay. Okay, so this is um, UB3. UB4 is the uh, Chu Chai, the uh, crooked, okay, it's a crooked curve or something. Yeah. But um, this is where the the channel, instead of going in a straight line here, it it kind of goes lateral. It still is half a soon into the anterior hairline, but um, it's going to be um, one and a half soon uh, lateral to the midline. So what you can do is um, if you want to just take a shortcut, you could find um, three sun. Okay, actually, let me see your, your three sun. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so like three sun, um, and take half of that distance here. Okay, and it should it should still be um, a little bit medial to the pupil line. Okay, so one and a half sun, or you could do like you know take one and a half soon, but one and a half soon lateral to the midline, 0.5 soon uh, within the hairline, okay? So half a soon within the hairline here, okay? okay. That's uh, UB4, okay? And then um, we get to UB5, which is Wuchu or fifth place. That is one soon within the ant anterior hairline, so so about here, if we take one thumb width within the anterior hairline, okay? okay. And then we have, um, let's see, uh, Guangmi, um, Chengguang, which is the receiving light, okay, UB6. One and a half sun within the um, uh, posterior to UB5, okay? Uh, again, an easy way to find the one and a half sun is to use your um, Use your hand breath to find the three sun measurement, okay, and ha take half of that distance. So if this is three sun right here, half of that is one and a half sun. Okay, so this right here would be um, Chengguang. The next one would be uh, UB7 Tongtian, and then um, uh, another one and a half sun behind that is the um, the UB8 uh, declining connection. Make sure that uh, UB8 Again, it should be on the same line here, and it should be um, slightly like half a cent posterior to where do 20 is. So do 20, if you remember, is kind of right above the posterior edge of the ear. 
So I'm just estimating here. This is the posterior border of the ear. We take it straight up. This is going to be where her 220 is. It's about like, you know, a little bit behind that. Okay. So that is where um, uh, UB8 is. Now um, UB9 and 10, I'm just going to um, lift this up for you. Support the thank you. Thank you. Okay. So UB9 and 10. Okay, I'll find UB10 first. Yeah. It's a little easier. Okay. You feel for the EOP at the back of the um, the back of the skull on the midline. Okay. And this is where her EOP, EOP is. And then I slide straight down into this depression here. This is going to be her do 16. Okay. And then I take. I know this is hard to see, but I go like about half a cent down from there. And this should be roughly about half a sun within her posterior hairline. I know it's, it didn't seem like it because there's a lot of hair here, okay? But it's like um, do 15 where my index finger is right here. From do 15, I just slide laterally, okay? This right here is the trapezius muscle. The spine is in the middle, okay? And you have the trapezius muscle on either side. It's pretty distinct uh, muscle, okay? You just slide um, laterally. And the muscles of the trapezius are kind of like, you know, hills on either side of the spine. So you're going to rise over the hill, and then all, all of a sudden you'll, you'll, you'll um, go on the far side of that hill, okay? And this, is, this right here is where UB10 is on both sides, okay? And this is 1.3 sun lateral to the midline. Now, if I wanted to find where um, uh, UB9, the jade pillow, or UZen was, then I find the EOP again. This time, instead of going down, I go up, okay, until I find this slight depression above the EOP. And then, I know it's hard to see with the hair, but I line um, this up with uh, UB10, which I found down here. And this would be where um, my UB9 is. Okay, 1.3 sun lateral to um, do 17. Now over here. Okay. And yeah.